morning, Rio Grande third graders. It's time for our social studies lesson for today. We are going to be talking about traveling the Santa Fe Trail. The Santa Fe Trail was a fork for, off of the Oregon Trail, which we've already discussed when we were talking about the gold rush and how people traveled from the East Coast to the West Coast of the United States at that time. So let's take a look at traveling the Santa Fe Trail. You also, before you start to read this passage, might want to take a look at the questions before you read the passage. It's a good idea to always read your questions first so that way you know what you're looking for as you listen and read the passage. So you might want to pause now, take a look at the questions, and then come back to the video. So let's begin. Why travel the trail? The Santa Fe Trail was an important trail between the United States and Mexico. People in both countries wanted to buy and sell merchandise from each other. Merchandise is the goods or the products that people want to sell. Let's continue. Merchants used the trail to make money by hauling items to sell when they reached the end of the trail. In 1821, William Becknell was the first American who traded legally with people in Santa Fe, Mexico. That was the year Mexico won freedom from Spain. Mexico was now its own country. So if you remember in a previous lesson before, we talked about how Spain owned Mexico at that time and Mexico won its independence from Spain. So that became, Mexico became its own country. And at that time, you remember that Texas and this blue area over to your right, if you look at the map, that blue area was still part of Mexico at the time until we had the Mexican-American War, which meant that we won that area from Mexico after the Mexican-American War. So people who wanted to sell their goods or their products in Mexico um, before this had to do it illegally, meaning that they didn't have permission. But once Mexico won its independence, then Mexico gave permission for the United States to sell its goods and products to the Mexican people at that time. So William Becknell is considered the father of the Santa Fe Trail. So if you want to learn more about William Becknell, you can look up him in Wikipedia and you'll find some more information on him. You will notice that there is a caption underneath the map, and I'm going to read that caption for you. It says, the Santa Fe Trail was about 900 miles long. It went from Independence, Missouri to Santa Fe. Notice they don't say New Mexico, they say Mexico, because again, at that time, New Mexico was not part of the United States. Almost 500 miles of the trail was in Kansas. Mexico no longer had to trade only with Spain. It could decide for itself what to do. The United States made many things that people in Mexico wanted. Mexicans wanted candle molds, medicine, fabric, coffee mills, slate pencils, and clothes. These were made in factories, something Santa Fe did not have. Mexico had many raw materials that people in the United States wanted. Americans wanted beaver pelts, wool from sheep, gold, silver, and mules. So the raw materials that they're talking about are those materials of natural resources, meaning that they are taken from the land. So animal pelts, wool from sheep, gold, silver, and mules were all considered raw materials or natural resources that the United States wanted at that time. What did they need for the journey? 
the first traders carried their goods on mules and horses. Later, traders used large wagons with oxen. They learned that they could carry more goods this way. The more they could carry, the more money they could make. Some wagons were so large that it took 10 or 12 mules to pull each wagon. These wagons carried about 6,000 pounds of goods. Traders used the trail during the spring, summer, and fall. A trip took about 50 to 60 days one way. Wagons traveled about 15 miles each day. So if you think about a trip taking from Missouri to Santa Fe, it took 50 to 60 days. 60 days, if you remember, 30 days is in a month. So it took about two months for them to travel from Missouri all the way to Santa Fe at that point in time. And 15 miles a day really isn't that far. If you think about it, to get from Berlin to Las Lunas is about 10 miles on the highway. So think about now, it only takes us 10 to 15 minutes to get there. But to travel 15 miles for the day, that's pretty amazing. What happened to the trail? On February 16, 1880, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway reached Santa Fe. Trains carried goods much faster than wagons, and business on the Santa Fe Trail came to an end. So, since trains came through at this point in time, and this is actually when New Mexico was now part of the United States, we can say now that we have a better way of getting goods and merchandise and faster to that area. So at this point in time, this is about 60 years past uh, 1821. So now they're able to carry these goods and services much faster. So now let's take a look at our assignment for today. So you should have probably already read the questions. Now you're gonna go back into your social studies Schoology folder and you're going to complete the comprehension questions for this passage. I've also attached a PDF hard copy of the passage for you to go back to as a guide or a reference. So you could print it out and look back at it or you can open it up and look back at it. Uh, please make sure that you kind of look, you do look back at the, the either the video or the PDF as you rewatch the video a second time or reread, please make sure that you are reading for the answers to the question. So if you have any questions to this assignment, uh, please send me an email in Schoology. Have a great Wednesday and we will see you soon.